Hello, everyone. This is February 2021. This is my third recording on YouTube. Um, and what I'm going to do today is uh, I'm going to paint. Uh, I have a program called Art Rage, and I'm going to put a layer on a student's painting and repaint it and talk about why I'm making the changes that I'm making. So um, I'm going to share my, I hope everyone's doing well and staying safe. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to share my screen and then we'll get started uh, with the demo. So here's my screen. I'm going to open up the board. Okay, so this is the board. I do uh, uh, online teaching on Mondays. And this is the board that um, I work on. And this is a program, Art Rage, that I use. The student can send up to three paintings per week. And my husband puts them on the board with a photo here and then the painting. And then there's a picture of the student here. And then anything that the student emailed to me will be put here. So you have to have everything in by Sunday at 7.30 in the evening. And I look at what you've done during the week. And um, I look at what you've written to me. And then I'll comment what I'm going to talk about on Monday. So the classes start at uh, 1 on Monday and usually go till about 4 or 5 o'clock, depending on the number of students that I have. So <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to enlarge this painting, get a little bit bigger. OK, so this is the photo, and this is the student's work. OK, so what I see here is actually that this foreground is all in shadow. And the light is back here, where she has this uh, too light to be in the shadow note. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. So I'm going to pick uh, some kind of blue. OK. Just move this over a little bit. OK, so I'm going to make this maybe a little bit darker. So it's cool and I'm putting it in the shadow. Actually, I'm thinking maybe even a little bit darker. Okay. I can always lighten things up. Okay. So I'm gonna put this in shadow here. Okay. And then that grass around it is a little bit, <clears throat> it's a little bit uh, darker. Okay, so actually I'm thinking I'm going to go to maybe a little bit redder and a little bit darker. Okay, so that is the, the grass there. And then you've got a piece here and you've got something here. Okay. And then the, um, I'm going to still get these uh, stones here get a little bit darker. And like, uh, this is the first lay-in, so I'm not getting into any detail. What I'm trying to do is capture the first light effect, which is that the foreground is all in shadow and the background is in light. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to the, the trees and the bushes in the foreground, and I'm going to start with a, a dark color which eventually I'll show you what I'm going to do with that, but it's going to be a little bit, a little bit darker. Okay, so I have one color for the shadow. This is going to kind of be the foreground trees here. And then one color for the light. And the light has to be pretty dark. So here's the light part of that. So it might be a little bit darker. OK, so that's the trees. And I'm organizing them as a light in a dark pattern. I actually think they should be maybe a little bit darker. OK, yeah, that's better. Okay, so, and then over here, I'm going to put these in light and shadow. Now, later on, I'm going to modify these, but I'm just starting out with two colors, a light and a shadow. 
Okay, so now there's some trees in the little, uh, like the mid ground here. I'm gonna maybe make these a little bit lighter purple and the light plane a little bit lighter. So that's kind of the mid tone there. Okay, so now there's, um, there's some light in the distance. These are in light back here, oh, too light. These are probably in light back here, okay. And then you have a little bit of a shadow, a light in your shadow. Okay, and then I'm gonna to go to the, that lake back there. That's pretty light. I'm gonna actually make it a little bit darker. So that's pretty light. Okay, then I'm gonna to go to the, um, the surrounding, okay, so that mountain is all in, um, is all in, sh in light. So it's pretty warm. She has it pretty warm, but I'm gonna even make it a little bit uh, warmer. Well, maybe I'll make it a little bit darker. Okay, so I've got this in light here. Okay. And I'm over coloring this. And then I'm going to start the uh, the sky with uh, a warm, like a pink, and it's pretty light. Okay. So this is my first my first lay-in. So I've exaggerated the um, the back hill in light, um, and then all the foreground in shadow. Okay, so now I'm going to work a little bit a little bit more on this. Um, I'm going to add some local color to these this green in the foreground to this purple, which I would actually do if I was painting on location. So. Okay, and then maybe here too. And uh, maybe some of this uh, grass might have some a little bit darker shadow here. So you have a light and shadow here. And then maybe the background here, it gets a little bit lighter right here okay and then that um that path goes in back of that so i'm gonna have a path going back here okay so then i'm gonna maybe make those trees back or the bushes back here a little bit uh, i think i'm gonna add some blue to them So they, they maybe will stay back better. And then there's some light. There's some light on them back here. Okay, so now um, I'm going to make the trees that are in light i'm going to have a little bit of a shadow here and then a little then and they're in light that's fine uh okay so now this um the shore it gets a little bit lighter right in the foreground here and um then the the uh hill in the back has a little bit of a shadow here and it's a little bit there's a little bit of a color change here and then i think overall i think maybe i'm going to get to a lavender back there purple i'm just i'm going to make this a little bit cooler overall back there
I'm going to mix that in. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to go to the sky. And I'm going to put some blue on top of that. But see, I have it the same value. I haven't changed the value, but I've, and I would actually do this if I was paint, using regular paint. Okay, so um, I'm going to actually put a little bit of a dark here, I'm sure. And I'm going to go back and get the, the blue. Okay. Okay, so now the, um, and then I'm going to come in with some green. Okay, so now I'm going to put those uh, those buildings on the on the hill. So I don't have to do a lot of detail. And there's a little bit of of shadow in a few places, like shadow here. Okay, so now the back hill, I'm going to make the back hill just a little bit, to a, a little bit less, a little bit cooler. So it kind of stays back there. And then I have the foreground a little bit, a little bit. Um, so I'm going to put some, some, some warmth in the foreground. So I'm just modifying what I have here. Like I see these is a little bit warmer here and I get into more and more detail. Still keeping the light and the shadow organized that the back hill is in light and shadow. Okay, let's see. And then there's a few darks here. Probably some shadow here, shadow there. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to toggle back and forth. It could be a little bit darker. Okay, so now I'm going to toggle back and forth and show you what I've done. So see how I've painted the, the distant in more in light in the foreground all in shadow. Anyway, so I'm going to um, stop the recording. So I hope um, I'm going to I'm going to stop the share. And um, I'm going to do I do this every month. So I'll do one uh, the middle of the month uh, next uh, in March. So thanks for watching. Um, you can sign up for my long distance learning by going to my website, fineart at sonic.net. And uh, also um, have a great day and um, I'll see you next month.